it's no secret that I'm a different person. Lars is a different person. When we're on stage, you know, I think anyone would develop some type of uh, survival technique if, to be up in front of 80,000 people. Mine has turned into more humor and more... Um, I guess intuition, more shooting from the hip, more embracing the unknown up there. I wish I could do that better in regular life. <laughs> but if something goes wrong on stage with 80,000 80, people out there and I, we screw up a lyric or the power goes out or somebody falls off the stage or you, know, you screw up a song and you stop it, I'm so much more comfortable with, if I walk up to the mic, something's going to come out that makes some sense. <laughs> and not be paralyzed with the fear of it. And I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, I think, being more vulnerable, being okay with, we are a live band, we are a live band. You're going to see some freaking horrendous mistakes and it's going to be unique uh, but also embracing one set of eyes as well being able to because at least for me there's a lot of times when you know it's just the backdrop this is a giant backdrop of people <laughs> and I look at it as one entity it's like one thing vibrating you know when I'm able to look one person in the eyes, put a soul in that person and identify and talk with that person at that moment, that's helpful for me. It makes it more of a reality to me because there's nothing, there's nothing humble really about being up in front of 80,000 people throwing shapes you know and these people singing your lyrics it, it freaking it's it's an experience that I can't explain so anything that grounds me makes me feel like a human like a mistake <laughs> falling down on stage stuff like that it's all helpful it's all helpful